Hello and welcome to BMedium Revit tutorials. In today's tutorial I will show you two different ways how to copy dimensions in Revit when you have same uh, floor plans. Here I have model that I made for this uh, tutorial and we have second and third floor which is same with first floor. It can be building of 10 floors for example and more uh, I think this is enough this uh, three floor is enough for this tutorial to show you how to uh, copy dimensions one way is to export a floor plan where you, where you have dimensions as an uh, AutoCAD file DWG All right, I saved I saved this floor plan and now I will open AutoCAD All right, and here I will draw uh, these lines For example, sometime uh, when you insert a CAD file in Revit, uh, it can be displaced on another place uh, far of your model. So uh, we need reference lines like this. I change the layer of this to reference lines. Uh, such as uh, layers for dimensions and now I will hide dimensions and delete all other elements beside dimensions and now I will purge the unused layers and all unused layers will disappear only our dimensions and reference lines will uh, left all right now, just to be sure that there is uh, nothing beside our uh, dimension elements and we will save it. All right, now we'll go in Revit and we will open the, for example, uh, second floor, which is same as first floor and third floor. And I will insert the dimensions. I will turn on the current view only. These dimensions will be visible only in this view. And since this is the same uh, model where from where we exported these dimensions, uh, the dimensions will appear in the same place when we insert them. Now I will go to object styles and to imported objects to change the color of dimensions. I will add this color and I will change the other layer of dimensions with the same color. All right, and now that's it. This is one way. Now I will copy. I will copy this dimension only pro, uh, just to say only one problem. We have different uh, light of the of the text on this on these dimensions that we imported as a CAD file. All right. Now I will duplicate these dimensions. This method can be used, for example, when you are in hurry and you have to send PDF files. Uh, so you can use this method if you have such situation all right if you need to make changes uh, since these floor plans are the same you will make changes uh, on all floor plans then uh, you can export one more time the uh, floor plan where you have dimensions and using this method you can import them uh, 
in the into into the project with this very simple way this is the just to show you you need to change the to make changes uh, on all other uh, floor plans and then you will export this floor plan when you have dimensions and import them import them you will go to file export dwg cat file and using this method you, uh, you can import it, it into the project all right this is just to show the f once more times for ones that don't have a lot of experience with with revit all right the second method now i will show you the second method uh, to duplicate dimensions in revit when you have uh, same floor plans uh, i will delete this uh, no i will hide this cat dimensions all right i will do the same here and now I will show you the second way. We will duplicate the floor plan where we added the dimensions. We will duplicate it with detailing so we can see all details. For this example, we need dimensions. Now we will go to view settings. We will select all and deselect everything beside dimensions and grid lines because our dimensions are connected to the grid lines also if we hide them uh, we will have problems with dimensions the dimensions that uh, are connected to grid lines will disappear so you can see now if i try to add anything from annotation to this floor plans it would be unvisible later i will tell you uh, the reason why we did this actually i can say you now the reason is when we will put this uh, this floor plan with the dimensions that we duplicated before to sheet now i will delete this uh, floor plans all right and now i will add the floor plan i but before that I need to rename it I will name it dim first floor dim dimensions and I will duplicate it as a dependent uh, as a dependent floor plan so when we later ch make changes the changes from these drawings will follow uh, all other duplicated duplicated floor plans as i said before sometimes we have 10 or more floor plans that i that are same and for any reason if you need to uh, create pdf files for all these plans uh, you can use this method for dimensions all right now i will create i will make this floor plan uh, transparent I will make all model elements transparent. You can do that or you you don't you don't have to change the transparency because we will put our second floor above the above the uh, floor plan with dimensions. So the model below won't be visible only the dimensions will be visible we will do the same for for uh, third floor i duplicated two because as you know you can't you can't use same uh, same floor plans or uh, any views in the in one in one sheet 
All right. Now I will show you when you make changes, you can use this method, for example, you can lock, you can lock walls, these walls here, to the grid lines. Okay, using a line tool, we will lock the walls to this grid line and when you change when you make changes on grid line, the changes will appear on all floors. Okay, now we'll go to sheet. Here you can see. I will open a multiple view using a tile views tool. All right. And now, when you make changes, on this dimension here, for example, the changes will appear on all floor plans. All right. As since this dimension the view is dependent all dimensions are uh, the changes on dimensions are visible on all on all floor plans And, and that's it, dear friends. Uh, now you can see when we do the changes on the elements, the uh, changes follows uh, to the other floor plans. Now, if you need for any reason to make changes to the floor plans, you need to do uh, first on the model for example, if you are going to move the windows or doors, then you go to the floor plans that we duplicated as a depend, where our dimensions is, and when you do the changes on that, uh, since we have duplicated as a, as a depend, even if you have more than 10 or 20 uh, floors, the all changes would be appear automatically will appear automatically on all floors because they are depend you can see here okay that's all for this tutorial i hope it will be useful for you thank you for following me and please don't forget to subscribe and to share my works with your friends and uh, colleagues uh, see you in the next tutorial